And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. Just Joel with Atlantic Knife doing another five minute review. This time I've got the new, or it's new for right now, the Max Ace Corvus 3. Let me tell you, I was raving about the Max Ace Goliath. I'm raving now about the Corvus 3. It's, it's gorgeous. There's a few different options. I have the uh, Model 301 here. Let me just give you the specs first. So this one is 9.45 inches overall with a 4.33 inch Bowler M390 modified drop point steel blade. It has a flat grind. It's got a little like a whisper of jimping. It's got a stone wash finish with satin highlights. So the stone wash is here. The satin finish is up here. I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, you can tell a little bit there. See stone wash and the satin. 0.16 inches thick and you can open it with either the jimped flipper tab so this right here just or you can deploy it with the dual sided titanium thumb studs so I'll show you that a little jump there with the thumb studs but oh this thing look at this it's oh it's so nice okay so it, this one does operate on a spiraled style multi-role ceramic ball bearing system now, I haven't, you know, like, ripped open the knife, because that would be, like, sacrilegious almost. But that I can see it. I can feel how it rides. It rides differently. It snaps to attention. It snaps just as well, I would think, as the Goliath. I don't really see a huge difference between that one and this one with the opening. However, that's where the similarity stops. This thing has a TC4 titanium handle anodized sculpted with this one has the zirconium inlays but there's also uh, a gold makume inlay one and a timascus inlay which is just as gorgeous as this one it's got the titanium backspacer with a side lanyard hole i'm not sure if you can tell let me see if i can show you here i gotta get really close so you can see Right here is the lanyard hole. Kind of small and a little inset, so you'd really have to go small with the paracord, like 220. But it would work. It would work. You just have to go go really small with the paracording. So it is whoop, gorgeous. It's like a, I would say it was a frame lock on this one. And then it's got the milled tip up titanium pocket clip. And here is, well, maybe not the best part, but another great part, another bonus. It comes, I gotta scoot it for because this case is huge. A giant pelican case. Hold on, I just gotta move the knife out of frame for a sec. Look at this thing. Look at this. It is, it is huge. I'm gonna have to zoom out. Look at that. Look at that shine. So it's got a little handle. No? And of course it locks. So we gotta undo the hinge here. There we go. And then what? I know, it's got this really nice padding in here. And it comes with a cleaning cloth, of course. So it's in there real nice. And you could you could use this for other things. You don't just have to keep your corvus in it, of course. I think there's a little there's a little slot here you can put your name or you know anything in there really it's an amazing box I'm not even joke waterproof it's great oh, so if you couldn't tell I love this knife yes it's a little pricey but I think it's worth it I mean look just look at it I think I just like to sit here and look at it it's that nice. Opens well. It's M390. There's all quality there. All titanium. Zirconium inlay. Or you can go with a Makume or Timascus. Of course, those are a little more on landknife.com. But sometimes I have to think you're worth it. And it's worth it. And I think in this case, it's worth it. So. That was the Max Ace Corvus 3, which is different than the originals. It's better. doesn't have that giant oval thumb disc like the first one. This is the best version of it. 
I am just Joel with a Light Knife, and I am signing off.